Don't worry. We're going to start the episode soon, I promise. It's just raining outside, and I don't record when it rains. Come on. Two minutes later. Still raining. Three minutes later. You know what? I've, I've just given up. Five minutes later. You know what? We're going to wait this out in my office. Oh, I better bring my bed. Oh! Still raining. Ah, that blew up the bed. I'm going to go and sleep at the barge then. No, we still can't sleep. This is literally- What's happening? I just wanted to stop raining. I don't think I've ever had such an awful start to an episode. Wow. Well, that was just the worst. <laughs> at least we can finally start the episode now. So, what are we doing today? We have got a very, very busy day. And by busy, I'm going to be busy B today. Well, what I've got in mind is the largest best and final form of the barge. I know that we've been focusing on the barge, but it is a project that we need to see through to the end. And every minute I'm working on this, I'm not working on the back of the mansion. So what we've got is obviously our barge. Now this hasn't changed in an extraordinarily long time. I have been on my creative world working out what the next stage is. Oh cool, now it wants to be night. So I've been working pretty hard between the last episode and this episode, designing the final barge form and also doing some work to the big barge sweep. I know that there's a lot of excitement about this and some really good ideas about how to make this work. But after making and finishing this little tunnel, that we started in the last episode, I realized that this is no small project. And I have messaged Impulse, who is technically a partner company of the barge. But I realized very quickly that the timings of this is going to be extraordinarily difficult. So, what I've been doing between the episodes is working out all of the timings. And I finalized a disc and music for this project. So, without further ado, let's get in to playing this disc and seeing or feeling what this game will start like when people come and play. So they'll put in their 10 diamonds in the chest, they'll play the disc, and that will set the cart in motion. So let's do a very quick run through. Welcome to the HCBBS, the Hermitcraft Big Barge Sweep. Your task is simple, open shulker boxes and grab items. Here's the shulker box coming up now. See if you can open it. Oh dear, it's empty. The ones coming up though, won't be. Your task is to grab as many items as possible. But here's the catch. You have extremely limited time. Don't dawdle and make sure you look around. Looks like you're about to begin. Good luck. So then you get straight into the actual thing. Man, that's quite loud actually. I might need to mess with the, the levels of the song a little bit, but you get an idea, you then go around the whole thing and end up finishing at the barge. But here's the thing, the song actually lasts way longer than this. It actually goes on for a whole other minute, a whole minute. You can hear it slightly. So the music has gone on for at least another minute and it does go on for quite a long time. So. I need to come up with a plan. Boom. Okay, so we need to come up with a plan, basically. It's uh, quite a long song. Now, I have two options. I can either make the track as long as the song, or I can make the track and then cut the song to match the track. So what this basically means is if I'm doing the track first, I really need to start building the barge first. I need to complete what's going to be up here at the top layer before I can go ahead and start making all this. So that's basically what we're going to start with today. We're going to try and get a lot of the HCBBS done today, but I assure you it probably won't be. And to kick things off, we really, really need to get the barge upgraded. And this is no, this is no small task. We've got what I have in mind for the barge is quite exceptional. This is going to be at least a full day's building. So, I say we stop blabbing about it and actually get building. So, let's go!
I'm really sorry, but I actually have to cut this short because Impulse has got back to me and is going to meet with me now. Hello, Impulse. Hello, Grian. I have asked for a meeting for... Actually, do you know what? Come with, come, to, come up to my office. I, I built this office. Uh, We're going to use it. Uh, yeah, isn't I'll, that I'll see you up there. Dangerous. Didn't you lose all your stuff in this thing? No, it's 100% safe. It's just uh, not It's not 100% foolproof as Scar. Uh, <laughs> are you sure? Oh, oh I, okay, okay, I made okay, it. Woo. Okay, okay. That was scary, okay. All right, well, welcome, welcome to Barge Co. Uh, the reason I've asked you here today is because actually I need some help. And technically you are a partner in the Barge Co. family. That's true, yeah. All right, so are, are you interested? Uh, sure. I'm always interested. All right, I'm gonna have to take this up with my superior. <laughs> wait, wait, what? You're gonna have to come over to the, the the real office. What is it? This bridge isn't very safe. Okay. Right. Well, wonderful. Wait. You've now got an appointment with the CEO. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Very. I, that was just the assistant. I see. Hey, very nice. Very nice. Oh, there's even more diamonds in this one. I need more employees. <laughs> Okay, I right. Guess you do. So, what I'm working on at the moment is called the HCBBS, which is the Hermitcraft Big Barge Sweep. It's a mini game where you have to grab lots of stuff. And okay. basically, I've bitten off a bit more than I can chew, and it would be <laughs> great to get someone else involved to make this better. Okay. All right. I mean,. Mini game? Does that mean it's like it's redstone? It's, it's not. It's it's not a mini game. It's not. Well, whoa, no. <gasps> yeah, we don't use the mini game word here. Okay. Oh. It's, it's a shopping experience. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, it's, okay. A it's, it's a shopping experience. If it's a mini game, people might expect to play for free. You see? Mm. See how that works? Okay, right. It's a I shopping see, because you need more diamonds, yeah. right? I do, I do. <laughs> I, I, I need more chandeliers. <laughs> okay, right. So. I, I, it's best that I just show you. So if you just Batman off this with me, you don't need to see the full experience again on the minecart. You already went through it once. So let's just skip to the end. But <laughs> that's the concept. I probably fooled you into thinking it was a full experience. I, to go. I thought I, I thought I was getting good stuff here. <laughs> yeah. No, no, not at all. <laughs> so right, basically, right. this is the track, and as you can imagine, there will be loads of shulker boxes everywhere. And you've got to grab stuff, all right? And then oh, you okay, I yeah, see. And then you got to uh, pay to enter, and that's that's how you make money. But it's going to be really tough because the minecart goes quick. Yeah. What kind of stuff are you going to be putting in? Mostly junk. Oh, okay. <laughs> good, good idea. I was going to say because yeah. you could like lose profit if yeah. you put good stuff in there, I'll, like quartz. I'll, I'll be honest with you. Most of the stuff that's going in the shulker boxes are the stuff that I've excavated bit of digging this hole. Real? Oh, okay. There you go. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. <gasps> What happened to my little barge with uh, the impulse yeah, buys? Yeah, I'm currently in the process of building the uh, the barge expansion. So oh. as I've put off impulse buys for a long time, and impulse buys is getting its own little place up. But I've had to leave those there just in case, just in case someone <laughs> still needs it. <laughs> okay, I mean, kind of a difficult shopping experience, but it works. <laughs> At least it's still available. <laughs> okay, so what do you need help with then? So what I'm thinking is basically giving you a segment of this track to do to decorate and to maybe do some redstone extravaganza you know like sending uh, them up on slime blocks and timings and things that i'm probably no good at fun stuff yes fun stuff Ooh, bouncing them around like a pinball that exactly. sounds amazing exactly okay i don't know dig dig off a section that lasts about oh. 30 seconds and then rejoin here at some point oh yeah yeah sure okay i can cut off out here take them around a little bit bounce them around like you said and then we'll yep. just come back in and finish the loop and that'll be great man yeah i'm down that sounds Sweet. like so much fun okay this is gonna be a brilliant i, I, I can't wait for people in space because i'm pretty sure everyone's gonna sign <laughs> up and then they're going to be oh, disappointed yeah. there will be some rare stuff and there will be some valuable stuff as well but of course it's going to be some of the harder things to get if you just grab the closest thing to you you're probably going to end up with junk i'm helping is there any benefit for me like so my 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 idea was that the barge sweep ends at impulse buys because it's like you're leaving oh, through the gift yes. shop do you know what i mean yes. get a lot that's of what i'm talking food. about yes Okay, perfect. So definitely some benefit for me as well in this. I like that. Exactly. Cool, man. Yeah, I am 100% in. I have already got some designs swirling in my head. So I'm going to get straight to work on this. Wicked. I'm going to get back to building this because I was halfway through it. And now we've had our meeting with Impulse and he's agreed to get involved. Let's get back to the time lapse where we finish the enormous barge upgrade.
after many hours, much grinding, and a couple of tears, we have finally created the final form of the barge. Look at it in all its glory. I am not going to be improving this anymore. I am 100% happy with how this looks and has come out. So let's have a little bit of a tour of the final barge. So from the outside, it basically has gotten a little bit taller. We've got this large section on the side, which we all know what that's for. But what have I done to the main structure? Well, it has got bigger, <laughs> but not actually in any meaningful way. So the inside, although it looks is well, it's pretty much identical in the in, on the inside. You do get this rather nice look up in the courtyard because one thing is for sure. I know I know me and I know the people of this server and we don't like to use doors too much. Most people prefer to be able to fly into the middle of a shop just because doors are for me to collect, not to build. So it does mean that I need to shift some things around. I need to move all of my logs into this section. So this part of the barge is not actually going to be for uh, the mini game. Shouldn't call it a mini game for the shopping experience. So what's going to happen is that is the track is going to go all the way down there. It's going to make its way up here. So when they finally get to the end, this will be where impulse buys is. So he can put his stock here and whatever he wants and then they are kind of forced they there's no other way to go back through the barge and buy whatever they want although they should come out with a bunch of goodies as well i was thinking that i should put a couple diamond chandeliers hanging here there's a perfect opportunity for another couple of diamond chandeliers can't get enough of them i'll tell you what i've had quite enough of building in this style and the barge for a while and it is also i think one of the largest shops in the shopping district it definitely at least stands out so compared to the other shops here oh it's kind of in competition with scar shop over here but it's certainly bigger than town hall Enough about the barge, but also not enough about the barge, because I've run out of sand again. I, I, I don't know why this started, but Etho, for some reason, said, if you're still using a shovel to collect sand, you're a sucker. And I need to verify these claims, because I have definitely been using a shovel for a very long time. And I, I don't want to be a sucker. So we're going to do a little bit of an experiment, and we're going to find out the fastest way to collect sand. According to Etho, using TNT is the fastest way to collect sand. What is this? Here's some sea pickles to brighten your day. Give some to your friends so they have a good day. Or else. Pickles. I don't, I don't, I don't need pickles. Alright, I'll give some to a friend. Anyway, let's stay on task. It's very easy to get distracted on Hermitcraft. So we're going to go armed with a full box of gunpowder to the desert before we do this experiment because I want to factor in the cost of mining sand to make TNT into the calculations. So let's head over to my private desert where we're going to collect a whole bunch of sand for about an hour and we're going to figure out whether I'm the sucker or Ethos the sucker. Was it loser? It was something like that. So my private desert is all the way by the upside down, which I've not visited in a really long time and mainly because of this enormously large tunnel. So I'm thinking we're going to do about half an hour of collecting for each method and see how we do. What the heck? There's bees in my tunnel. Yo, what? Someone explain right now how, how do bees... They don't spawn in the nether. They don't spawn in the nether. There's one, two, three. There's sort, of, there's sort of four or five bees here. This is a mystery. There's no portal around here. And we're in the middle of my upside down tunnel. I mean, I, you can't, I don't have my cat. My Minecraft character doesn't have a mouth, but in real life, my mouth is open. I, where did these bees come from? They say that the bees are disappearing. I found them. They're in my Minecraft nether tunnel. Someone explain. This makes no sense. Okay, we're just gonna fly past that. That is really weird. All right, to the desert we go. Ah, the upside down. A beautiful build that was abandoned because it turns out that the nether is not actually that fun to be in. But I, we, can we appreciate for a second just the upside down mansion? 
I, it is a magnificent build. To my private desert we go. Here we are. So we're gonna do two time lapses, okay? Half an hour of TNT collecting, and half an hour of normal netherite shovel collecting. So let's just do a, a, a quick experiment first, just with normal TNT. Because I need to make sure that I actually use the TNT in the most effective way for this test to work. So let's just do... First of all, I guess we can do a surface level TNT and see what that produces. So that pretty much goes from the top all the way down to the sandstone level. And we get a lot of sand. Okay, but I need to factor in the cost of using TNT to collect sand and then using that sand again to craft more TNT. I have a feeling that I've, I'm a sucker. Oh, I, I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I just, just saw how much sand that that created and I'm now thinking that I might, Etho might be right. We're gonna find out. Okay, so let's do the first half an hour just using a shovel and see how that works. I should do grind experiments like this more often because I actually got some very valuable information. Okay, so turns out I'm a loser according to Etho. He was right. It is way more efficient to use TNT, assuming that you have the gunpowder ready and not the TNT, than it is to use a shovel. Shovel's got 245 stacks in 30 minutes and TNT got 329. This is closer than I thought it was going to be. I actually thought TNT may even double it. But it turns out, 84 extra stacks, and that means that the shovel is 8.1 stacks per minute, and the TNT is 10.9 stacks per minute. But I have to tell you something, even though the TNT resulted in more stacks of sand, well, it's a lot messier. It is a lot- look at this. I didn't place them particularly strategically because I wanted to make sure that I was going to not blow up any of the items with the TNT on the ground to be as efficient as possible. Not only does TNT look worse, it was actually way less fun. I had a more enjoyable time using shovels than I did TNT. So, there's a trade-off. TNT, definitely more efficient, but using shovels results in a cleaner desert and a probably more enjoyable time, but that's that's just my personal opinion. So, experiment over, we ended up with more than enough stock for the barge, I can tell you that much. So, let's ship this all the way back to the shopping district. Oh, and TNT also, you end up with a bunch of byproduct of sandstone, which you wouldn't normally get with normal shovels. So, I don't know if that's a benefit or a hindrance, but you end up with some extra stuff. Wow, I really didn't bring enough shulker boxes for this. Okay, well, I've got enough to stock up the barge, and that's what we came for. So, let's head back to the shopping district and get this all stocked up. Oh, that's better. Having empty chests in the barge makes me feel a little bit nauseous. Okay, well, we got actually a pretty good stock of sand. Speaking of Etho, there is something that's popped up right over here that Etho has announced is open for business. So, I thought we'd have a little go. Brain EE's Trivia. Theme, Minecraft, prize, spruce logs. Now, we can always use more spruce logs. Place your diamonds in the shulker box near this lectern. Look in the shulker box that appears and read the question. Choose and toss the one item from the shulker box that best answers the question into the hopper in front of you. This sounds way more complicated now that I'm reading it. Hover your mouse over the cursor, press Q. The lights turn off when the system is out of questions. Check back later. Okay, let's just give this a go. Place diamonds in here. How many diamonds? It doesn't... It doesn't say how many diamonds. Okay, I just checked. I checked Discord and it is just one diamond. So you put your diamond in. Not found in a desert temple. Oh boy. Really? I'm gonna guess it's... Oh, it's gotta be smooth sandstone, right? Yay! 
we get uh, we get our diamond back and we get some spruce logs. Oh, this is amazing. Okay, okay. I'm gonna test out my trivia, my my Minecraft trivia knowledge. Here we go. Max ancient debris veins per chunk. That's two. That's gotta be. That's two. Yay! It turns out I know some Minecraft. I've only been playing it for ten years. All right, let's try again. Splash water bottles don't hurt Enderman. Uh, I think that's the end of the episode, guys. Uh, got a bit too big for my boots there. <laughs> of course, of course, water, water. Bye. <laughs>